So guys, as you can tell, I got my hands full and so does Ron McGill from Zoo Miami. Ron, you know what? We've got some really cool snakes here. And I think it's important that we probably talk about the snakes that are native to Florida? Absolutely, and you're holding one of them, a corn snake or red rat snake. Snake found throughout Florida, very beneficial snake, feeds on all kinds of rodents and other kinds of pests. And then we have this guy, the new invasive species, the poster child for invasive species. This is the Burmese python, and this is what's all over the Everglades now. So Ron, how many different species of pythons do we know that the guys that are doing the capturing how many are, do, you, do you know that they're catching? Well, right now they're talking about the Burmese python and they're also talking about the African rock python. And they're worried that these two pythons may also start crossbreeding. The rock python tends to be more, more aggressive than the uh -huh. Burmese python. But this is a male and this is an albino phase. People say, well, why can't they find them? Look how bright yellow they are. Well, the reality is their normal color is kind of a chocolate brown with gold. They blend in with their environment very well. This is a male. He's about, oh, I'd say 11, 12 feet long. Females can get to be like 18 feet long. They just caught a female with 54 or 74 eggs inside of her in the Everglades. Wow. So, you know, the one thing that we can also talk about is all the in invasive species and far as fish go. And Absolutely. I think that one of the things that's really important while we have all these kids here is what kind of advice should we tell these kids about if they have pets, whether it's a fish, whether it's a snake, whether it's a lizard, well, what we big, what's the advice? A big problem here is a lot of kids, they keep pets like fish, and that's how the whole lionfish thing started. Marine tanks, lionfish released into the wild. Now they're kind of invading the reefs. They're taking away a lot of very important fish. You have to understand exotic animals should never be introduced into the native environment. Florida is like a club med for animals. If you release a, an animal in Michigan, it's going to die the first winter. In Florida, they're living like a utopia here. So you can't release these animals because those animals are going to hurt the native animals in our environment. So what else? So let's talk a little bit about the different species of fish so that people have an understanding. We have the Mayan cichlid. Yep. We also have Oscars. We have tilapia. Tilapia. And there's peacock a bass. Peacock bass. I mean, obviously, the peacock bass was introduced uh, to help with con by the FWC to right. help control the Oscars getting in the beds of the largemouth bass. So and they do a good job. They do a good job, you know, but we actually have a fishing derby at the zoo where we have uh, our lakes are filled with non-native fish, whether it be peacock bass, whether it be tilapia and stuff. And the kids come out there, they go fishing for them, and then we feed them to the crocodiles and the otters. So, you know, speaking of that, you guys do a lot of stuff at the zoo for kids. You have kids camps, you have this kids fishing derby. If people were interested in finding out more information about that, Ron, what should they do? Where can they go? Well, they can go to zoomiami.org on the website, or you can call 255-5551, area code 305-255-551. Easy to remember. And they'll tell you about all the camps and all the different activities for kids. All right. Well, thank you so much. Sure. I would... Uh, how, you know what, I have to ask you this oh, question. Rick, Rick, Rick. Let's feel the love here, brother. Come on, yeah, let's feel the love. Yeah, look at that. Now these two snakes are gonna get along okay, right? They're gonna be fine, Rick. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is a special moment here. Ron, on the I have report. a personal on, question for you. Yes, brother. How big are you? How tall are you? I, I, I'm 6'6", 230 pounds, brother. I'm this feeling snake. all of you right now. Oh, no, but you feel the same. He loves you, brother. Feel this, feel it. People are loving this. Feel, feel the love. I here. Feel, feel the love. love. Oh, 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 man, this is oh, special. This is nice. Ron, this is so nice. sweet. Hey, Ron, I just want you to know this snake likes my freshly shaven head and neck. <laughs> you just did great. Neck, right? Thank you so much, Ron. <laughs> this is how our relationship is going to be. I can't wait to take you in the airboat and let's go bass fishing so <laughs> we can talk about some evasive Absolutely. species. Absolutely. Love to do it. All right. Well, well, you know, Bree, we got to go best. to another one. Yes, that was fun, Ron. Thanks for bringing your friends with you and sharing them with Rick.